Do we feel that there's some part of her that genuinely believes she's doing right? She right? That's what that. I'm trying to say here. Oh, right. Yeah, she may believe that just like they did during the Inquisition when they tortured people until they admitted that Christ was the son of God. So, yeah, in that in that vein, sure. OK, here's the thing, though. That's the lens that you're looking through is McMurphy's eyes. Right. But in the beginning of the film, when he's talking to the doctor, uh, is it Dr. Spivey? And the beginning, yes. who, who, that, that actor He's not an actor, but he's actually no. a real physician. Uh, and he's did... actually the real physician who ran the Oregon Insane Asylum until the 80s. Dr. Dean is his name. And he's the reason that they were able to shoot at the hospital, I, I believe. Well, not just that, but he took the lines from the original script and shredded them verbally and said, yeah, that's just completely 100% not how it would go down. They actually let him write his own script to a greater degree. That's interesting because uh, Ken Kesey was uh, his experience with mental hospitals is that he was an orderly for a time before he wrote the book, started writing the book in the late 50s and it came out. So, oh, by the way, we should, we should mention this is supposed to be like 1962. Well, that would explain why they're dressed like milkmen. Uh, 